Now we've shown you the function declarations where you have a function and some kind of name and then contents of the function. But there's another way to do a function called an anonymous function. It's called anonymous because it doesn't have a name property and it's a slightly different syntax. So normally you would have function and then name and it just automatically creates a variable called name that holds the function. But we can actually be very explicit. We can say, hey, equals function. And then that's it. That's how you do the anonymous function. So you can print out, hey, ho, hip hop, hip hip hop. And you can use it just like you would a regular name function. So when you go to run, you'll see it prints out both of those values. So it runs like a normal function. There's some advantages to doing anonymous functions in that they're a lot smaller. That name cuts off a lot of room. Now you're saying, well, you actually just added this syntax, but watch this. We can create, let's say, another object, like let's say a person that is a first name. Say it with me, kids. First name of Wafi. And you can add functions to it. So we'll say hey equals hey. And then when we call person dot hey, and I'll just print out person just so you can see it. It's kind of kind of helpful to see. When we run, you can see that the function runs as normal when we go person dot hey, and it actually has the function attached to it. So it makes it a really helpful way to have objects that don't just have key value pairs, but they can also have functions attached to them as key values. And you can use those functions as well. And because it's anonymous, you can define it in line of the person. You don't even need a variable. So we could get rid of this hey and just put literally the function. And we'll go ahead and format it just so you can, your eyes don't bleed. <laughs> you can read, read this. So we'll go hey, tab that over just a tad. There you go. And so it works out the same way. You just have a person. It has the first name and it has the hey which equals an anonymous function. So key value, key value, right? In this case, it's just an anonymous function. And that way you don't have to define the variable elsewhere. You can define it in line of the table or the object. And when you run, it works the exact same way. There's no real difference. It's just a different way to define it. So that's anonymous functions. They're used a lot when you're trying to register a quick function for mouse clicks or things like that. And you don't have a very explicit class or table or some kind of formal function already ready to go. So you just define it anonymously.